hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today i will show you a random day in my life and we are currently still in lockdown due to coronavirus and i guess since four months now <laughs> and to be honest i didn't realize that we are already in march 2021 because days are passing so fast and every day is pretty much the same so i wake up I eat, work, train, and that's it. But today I will show you some epic meals and a workout in my cave. So today is actually a working day. So I just had my breakfast and now I have some work to do. But afterwards I will have my lunch. And yeah, so let me show you what I prepared. All right, guys. So for my lunch meal, I'm going to make a big and nutritious Buddha bowl with a lot of different ingredients so at first you take one red onion and one red pepper and chop it in small chunks take a non-stick pan put it over medium heat and add a touch of olive oil when the pan is hot, add the red pepper and half of the red onion. Let it soften for a few minutes. Then I add some seitan, around 100 grams. I had this one left in the fridge and it's a great source of protein. In the meantime, chop some cherry tomatoes. and peel one carrot. You can also cut it in small chunks if you want, but I like to do it this way. And we don't throw it the rest away, so we eat all of it. And also remember guys, you can put anything in your bowl. So if you don't like any of the ingredients, just replace them with something that you like. Now I add some cooked green lentils to my seitan, pepper and onion. Then we add some spices, some garlic powder, some curry powder, some smoked paprika, a touch of chili, some Chinese five spice, some salt and some black pepper. For our next component, I'm gonna saute some mushrooms with some kale and the other half of the red onion. Take a non-stick pan with some olive oil and when the pan is hot, add the onions and the mushrooms. Let them soften for a few minutes. And add a touch of water. So guys, before I add the kale to the pan, I always remove these little stalks here because I think they're not enjoyable to eat, but if you're a savage and if you like the crunch, just add them too. Now add a touch of water and let it soften for a few minutes. Then add a touch of salt, some black pepper and some garlic powder. Mix and let it soften for another minute. I also pre-cooked some barley, which I think goes well with the other ingredients. 
Then we add half of an avocado for some healthy fats. And yeah, this looks not so professional, but anyway. So to top the whole thing, I'm gonna make an easy dressing, um, which you can also store in the fridge for the next few days. So into a jar, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of tahini, the juice of half a lemon, a touch of apple cider vinegar, and a touch of maple syrup, some salt, and some black pepper. We close and we mix. Look at this. So this looks absolutely insane. I put the macros on the screen and I can tell you this is definitely a complete vegan meal because you have so many vitamins and minerals and only healthy stuff for your body. And yeah, so I'm gonna enjoy this one and I see you later for my workout. We are back in the gym and today I'm gonna hit my arms, so biceps and triceps because I neglected them for the past few weeks. And I'm also gonna hit my abs, so let's go. So guys, three sets done. So the first exercise was more for the long head of the biceps. This one, uh, the spider curls, they are more for the short head. Biceps is done. Now we're doing two exercises for the triceps. Um, but unfortunately, my light does not work anymore. And the problem is, in this cave, I only have these lights here. And there are no plugs uh, in this cave. So <laughs> I bought a light um, that you can use uh, without a plug. So you can charge it on a laptop with an USB stick. But the problem is this light went down after 30 minutes so it's really it was really cheap and yeah that's what i get um so yeah that's why i decided to train here and yeah so let's do it
So guys, this is our first exercise for the abs. Um, they call it the dead box. And it's important that you do it slow and controlled. Always contract your abs. And the most important thing about this exercise is that when you place the ball here, you push with your leg and with your hand to the ball. That creates uh, tension and that contracts the abs. And if you don't do this, it will be a lot easier. So guys, I'm done, arms and abs, it was really intense, but we still do it, so to be honest, it gets harder to train in the cave, because I don't have any more weights or, or machines or something, um, but yeah, I don't have the choice, so I'm still doing it, and I still can do pretty good workouts. So it's easy, but now I will go to take a shower and then grab something to eat. See you later. So guys, I just ate my leftover fried rice, um, so I just threw it in a pan along with some coconut flakes, some soy sauce and some sesame oil and it was delicious, so it's literally one of my favorite meals at the moment. And if you want the full recipe, you can watch my other video, I put the link here or here. And yeah, so this was another day in my life on lockdown. I hope you enjoyed it. So give it a like, subscribe to my channel and stay healthy guys. So see you in my next video. Wow.